They've got, it's got the first um, public library in the world at St Mary's. So we're at St Mary's Church in Reigate. I to wait for my friend Matthew to turn up. I think this is his church. He knows a lot of the history of this place. It's a very, very ancient church. But this lovely little structure just opposite the Lich Gate. Hopefully it will tell us uh, really what it was used for. It's very old. 1700s, maybe 1600s? Sorry? 1700s or 1600s? So did, tell me what you just said about the sundial up there. So the sundial up here is showing that it's 10, I don't know, 10.30, 10.35. Yeah, 10.35. But in current time it's 11.40 because obviously the sundial is in GMT, not British summertime, which is what we're in. So the sundial is still accurate in GMT yeah. and it's just entertained me yeah, dramatically yes. that the clock is right. Mm. But the we're clock wrong. is right but we're wrong. Do we still <laughs> need daylight savings? Comment below. Not really. I love that. Yeah, it's great. Tempest Fugit. So, we have been joined by the lovely Matthew Holdsworth. Hello. Hello Matthew. How are you, mate? I'm very well. Very well. We've introduced right. Dodie with Matthew. Matthew with Dodie. We're keeping our sort of social distancing as well um, during this, this weird, weird time. But Matthew knows a little bit about this graveyard. It's, I thought it was your church. It's not, but no. he, he has sorted up on it. Um, where's your church, then? Uh, it's in Red Hill. It's St Matthew's in Red Hill. St Matthew's in Red Hill. Yeah. That's, is that quite a modern church? Because I it's think a, Red Hill is quite a... It's Victorian. Oh, it was right. built in the Victorian times. Because this was the main parish church for all of Reigate and Red Hill. Is that why it's such a uh, quite well-known church? Yes. Here? And it's, yeah, this is, this is the medieval one. And then there were four churches built as Red Hill expanded and Reigate expanded, ah. named after the Gospel writers. Matthew, well, Mark, Luke hmm. and John. Mark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not so, with the Q, though. Not with the Q, though. <laughs> right, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look, walk up and... Uh, yeah see what we have here now over there that was that a mausoleum did you say uh, that's an old it's an old uh it was the non-denominational chapel ah okay um for the great because this was the graveyard for right. uh, Rygate, obviously it's now full um and there's a big there's a big cemetery outside of red hill now right okay yes i think i know where that is i mean this one is a huge huge oh, field really really big and they they let the grass grow here Yes, wildlife. I saw your vid your vid with Richard Vodes of Bald Explorer, um, who people know we do stuff with. Um, and when you did the video then, it had obviously been grown back a bit, it was huge. Yeah. Blades of grass everywhere. Absolutely. All the roads are named after like old dignitaries. So we came out, didn't we, and we saw Monk's yeah. Lane. You know, yes. we did, but you said, I think it was you said, because um, in your job you probably see this a lot, do people in the office go, mm, what can we call this new road? Um, ah, yes, well, there is an element to that. Yeah. Let's call it Monk's Crescent. But did you see there was a couple of funny little towers and stuff just as you came up? We did. The you just, do you know what they are? Yes. I said they were. Well, I'm probably going to get it completely wrong. Go on, let's see what you said. Oh, uh, what did I say? Were well, they tax or tax posts like or road toll, ta gates. toll gates? Where Monk's Lane is, there used to be a, a, a house called the Wilderness. Right. And he used to build lots of follies. So it's a folly? It's a folly. There's a number of follies that were there. And um, it was in the 18th century, I think. He used to let people go around and. Uh, Go around his house, you know, his gardens. Well, I did say the 1700s, so I got that right. You got that right. There is someone has one of those 1930s houses has a grade two grotto in their back garden. Oh, wow. Yeah. We went, obviously, been to um, uh, Rygate Castle and the folly there. Mm. And it's the same kind of thing. That's really interesting. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I, got the, I think I got the year right. <laughs> oh, it's going to look at this impressive structure. It's very impressive. But the, uh, that angel. Mm. How's that for Tim, guys? It got me one more. Is that a mausoleum, more or less? I think so, yes. It does say who it is on the side. Oh, here we go. Yes, yeah, sacred to the memory of Walter Blandford Waterfor Waterlow, who and departed this life 28th of August 1891, age 72. And uh, yes, we have a Blandford Road and a Waterlow Road, which are just actually up there. So he was a prominent figure locally. He was a very locally. prominent figure, yes. He was probably like the mayor and that sort right. of thing. Uh, but very wealthy fellow. I think he may have owned 
Dun what is now Dunops School, the big house is High Tree's house up, yes. on the, up on the hill. Quite a long time before he died. So it's his, his wife? His wife, yeah. So they're all in the tomb together. Yeah. Oh yeah, Rebecca. 46 years, I said. Yes. Oh, they've got, it's got the first um, public library in the world at St Mary's. The first public library? The first public library, yes. There's the, um, it's the Clack Cranford, Cranford Library, it's above the vestry, it's actually in a special, it's one wow. of those sort of old chained libraries, but you yeah, can't, yeah. They, they wouldn't give us permission to film in there because they were worried about the, the books. Understandable, uh, that's understandable. fine, yeah. Uh, but it is open, I think, on the Heritage Open Day. You can go oh, up and wow. One of the first public, so Rygate's got the first public road bridge, uh, underground yep. road bridge, or we think Europe, I think probably the world. Mm. And also the first public library, the first public library. So that'd be medieval, what, 1200? Um, oh, um, yeah, something like that, I think. Mm. Or, I can't quite remember, it might be 15 something, but yes. That's fascinating. Yeah. Do you know the church was actually built? Uh, it is, it's got 13th century origins. Right. Um, but probably maybe something earlier than that. Yeah, I mean, big old, big old Victorian uh, stuff. And then they refaced, because this is Rygate stone, mm -hmm. you can see. So. I thought Rygate stone, yeah. Uh, and, but that's made of, I want to say bath stone, the tower. Mm -hmm. They re, they re clad it, I think, or rebuilt it. But it is quite medieval inside, it's big. Mm. It's, I think it's the largest parish church in Surrey. Yeah, it, I, we were quite shocked when we did move. We walked up and we thought, that is large. Mm. And I always think, I've, I keep saying, probably in every video, and I must bore people now, but what was on the site beforehand? Did we go back to Neolithic times? Was there an, an ancient settlement here? You know, probably was, we're up on a hill. Well, you've got to see, and here, is where the old village of Rygate was mm -hmm. here, and then when they built the castle, the town moved that way. Of course, yes, it's stretched out. Yeah. Yeah. Wanted to take a picture. Oh, you can't really see it from this side, but you see that that tall bit that sticks out there. Mm -hmm. That's the in there's the Cranston Library. Right. So I did think that's really. I just really impressed with that. Mm. The world's first public library. I'm sure you didn't go out there and they stamped a ticket or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. You probably couldn't even take the books out of the uh, of the room. Yeah, so in the in that window there, this window and that window, it's in there. Wow. Is it a little tomb again? There are a couple of artists and things that were here, but they're not they're quite sort of random nineteenth century wall right. people that if you didn't It's gotta be yeah, it's gotta be a it's all gated off. Well this is a nice little section, isn't it? Back yeah. here. Well like this. Let's walk, let's walk actually on the pathway so we don't walk on people's graves and they get upset. 1799, Grace, sir. Yeah, here we are. Just back here is the Quaker Meeting House. Right, I did know about that, and, yes. Uh, which is now a modern modern one. But I did wonder if they actually had part of their graveyard, the non denominational bit was at this end, but I don't know. Couldn't. These encry encryptions. It's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah, because some of them are so worn. Oh, yeah, I can't really something see. something about Moors and Let's have a quick look at the... Oh, no. Is it just where we are? No, oh, no, it's just, it's, you've got the sections. While they're, while they're working oh, that out, I'm quick to show you, this is the uh, prep school, which used to be an old manor house, Rygate St Mary's. Lovely old manor house, that. Fantastic. This actually makes a nice circular walk. Oh, Come Benny does, yeah, yeah. You don't even get in. Oh no, it's the old. Is that so that's the old non? Does it say the non? Non denominational. Non denominational. Yeah, after a few. Yeah, <laughs> after a few glasses. The old door. When do you think this was built? I reckon it's Victorian. Yeah, it looks it, doesn't sort. it? Rygate stone again? Yeah. Crumbly. Oh gosh, yeah. Um, which is why you've got quite a lot of problems with quite a lot of the churches and why they were quite often refaced later on. Oh, I see. Really, though, this hasn't been used for years, and I think it's, I think they just, they keep it for putting in their uh, lawnmowers. It's looking cool, isn't it? Yeah. The aim that's got worth as a derivative, it's to do with the Saxons. Worth, and yeah. So it's, it's so-and-so, it might be Hold's enclosure. Oh, that's true. Hold's that's worth. a very unusual grey stone. 18, is it 9, December? 
God, it's vast. Mm. And we haven't gone right over there, right? No. You get the ones that sort of got lost. Oh yeah, it's like a sort of... That's rather lovely, actually, but... It... John Linnell. It's good. Come to your local churchyard, guys. Go and explore. It's really fascinating stuff. If he's not in here, he's in the next row along. Yeah, I'm trying to think where you saw him original. We're looking for Francis Frith's grave. It's not, uh, it's not Bratton. He was the famous Victorian uh, photographer. He took many, many, many oh, photos. Oh, we found it. Here we are. Francis Frith. Mm. Yep. Born 7th of October 1822, died in Cannes, where the Cannes Film Festival is, 20th of February 1898. Master photographer, did photographers, these great photographs, all copyrighted, unfortunately, you've got yes. to buy them. Yep. Um, I don't know how they copyright something that's out of copyright. I think they must keep renewing the copyright somehow, yeah. I don't know how you do it. But, but um, they're wonderful old photos of the whole area, mm. um, all over England. And I think, I, think his, um, I think his office, he certainly lived here for a while, but I think yeah. his office might well have been... I like think it is, yes, yeah. I think it is. He went abroad and did a lot of work as well, so um, yeah, it's, it's really, really interesting. Thank you, Francis, for those lovely photos. If you go to Francis Frith, there's a website and you can purchase a lot of the photos. Especially if you go to your town, find your town in these old photos, it's really yeah. interesting. You find how little much has changed sometimes. Mm. And then sort of right from the sort of like late 1800s to the 1950s, yeah. 1960s, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Well, everyone, that's it. Nice little video around St Mary's. Thank you very much, Matthew, for showing us around. No problem. Thank you, uh, thank you Jodie, for joining me as well. Oh, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. I'm going to do more, actually. Um, Star Wars t-shirt? Oh, yeah. Like Tri fighters, yeah. Um, but if you like the video, please like, subscribe. Please leave a comment if you know a bit more about the history around this area. Uh, I didn't know this church was as historic as it really was. Mm. This was really the centre of town, wasn't it? It Back really was, In Old yes. Brygate. Yeah. So, yeah, mm. fantastic. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. <laughs>